The University of Nevada, Las Vegas has become the most powerful basketball team in history. It is with their permission that we present the following episode of Almost Live. Hello, I'm John Keister, the host of Almost Live. Now, on last week's show, we made a joke in which we referred to the city of Renton as a pit. Well, since then, we've received many letters, some of them typed, from residents of Renton who took issue with our statement. They urged us to do some research into Renton's many contributions to the world. And you know what? We were surprised. Many of you are probably unaware, as we were, that the concept of the blood bank, which saves thousands of lives a year, was originated in a Renton hospital. Also, many people who can't afford to buy their own homes can live in a rental home, an idea developed in Renton from which it takes its name. We were surprised to learn that one of Hollywood's greatest canine stars, Rin Tin Tin, hailed from Renton. In fact, his original name was Renton Tim, until a studio executive's four-year-old daughter mispronounced it. Thomas Jefferson, the father of democracy and author of the Declaration of Independence, was originally from Renton, where he attended Hazen High School. Renton's impact has also touched the world of sports. How many of you knew that the miracle football team, the 69 Jets, led by the legendary Joe Namath, all to a man were from Renton? Buzz Aldrin, the second man to walk on the moon. Well, he was from Skyway, but he often ate at the Renton Jolly Boy. And William Shakespeare, the greatest writer in the English language, had an apartment in Renton for two years where he wrote King Lear. This is where we get the name King County. But Renton's greatest contribution to the world must surely be that of local genius Tom Frazier, who in 1947 invented fuzzy dice. So my friends, the next time you think of calling the town Renton a pit, think again. And use Kent, because Kent is a pit. I mean, it really is a pit. I mean, Renton's not a pit, but if you really can't...